my channel. This is Swift Wellness. I am Ashley and today we're coming at you with a 30 minute superset workout guaranteed to light up all the muscles of your chest and back. We're working on both of those muscles to get rid of muscle discrepancy and get stronger in the process. Of course, if you like short workouts, make sure to check out our channel for 15 minute options. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a single video we upload each week. Go ahead and get started. All right, let's go and start with a wide squat today. We're gonna to start warming up through our core. So let's just start with those wide squats. So sending those hips back and then squeezing at the top as you engage that core. So it's down and up down, squeeze, all the way down, again, up, finding that bottom, making sure you're engaging that core. We're gonna get into the back and the shoulders and the chest today in our back and chest superset. So go ahead, three more good squats. And on the next squat, I want you to pick that knee up and you're gonna take it to that opposite elbow. So coming down, you're twisting, Come down, and then it's a twist to the opposite side. Twist, down, twist. Just warming up through the legs, through the core, getting that back warmed up. Good, stay low. Down, you got two more, and one. Good, I want you to roll all the way forward, and then slowly setting those hips back. Roll all the way up. And then go down one more time again, warming up those legs, warming up those core, that chest, staying wide. We're gonna twist that opposite hand to that opposite foot, coming back to center again, twisting through that spine, left and right, good. Left, squeeze, back to center, good. You got four, we're gonna drop to the mat, good. Three, it's two, last one, Good, go ahead and walk out to your mat. Walk all the way into that high plank. Hold your core, squeeze. We're gonna go through a few push-up pulses. So holding your body in one line, roll those elbows back, and it's dip, dip, dip. Good, you got it. You're just holding tight, sending those elbows back, squeezing through the core, warming up the shoulders, the chest, the back, good. Squeeze, you've got three, you've got two. We're gonna drop down, warm up that back in one and slowly lower down all the way. Palms face the ceiling, legs in one long line and coming all the way up. We're gonna pull up just through the chest, keeping the legs on the ground and then slowly lower back down. So again, palms face the sky, point up, squeeze and hold. Come all the way back down, Let's up. We're gonna add those legs in three, in two, and one. I want you to pull that chest and those legs up at the same time, and lower. So it's up and down, up. Squeezing at the top each time, good. Three, we're gonna come back into that plank in two, and one, last one. Come back into that plank, Squeezing, finishing out with those small little push-ups going into that pulse. Elbows straight back, squeezing through the core. Good, you've got it. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Good, drop those knees, sink back into child's pose. All right, so here's how the workout's gonna work today. We've got our weights. So I have a set of three. Definitely go ahead and grab a little bit heavier weight. This is a great opportunity to go heavier today. We're gonna work through three sets. They're all super sets, which means we're working the chest, back, and alternating. So we're gonna go through quite a few reps. We're gonna go through each round two times and really burn out those muscles. So think of this as a push and a pull workout, working chest and working back. So let's start off with our feet underneath our hips, core engaged, squeeze. If you wanna take a little dip in the knees to keep your back nice and flat, you can do that as well. 
arms to come directly out in front of you. We're gonna start off with a single arm chest press, pulling it back, center, back, and center. Really think about pulling and you're pressing. So as you come back, you're pressing out as you exhale. Inhale as you pull back. Good, so you're just pressing that single arm. Of course, your modification, if you need to, is always coming with both arms, squeezing through that core. Little dip, little bend in those knees, so you engage that core, and you press that pelvis forward. So I don't wanna see you rocking, pulling back here. So as you extend and press, your core is straight. You are in one long line. Good. Think about your hips and your shoulders being nice and steady. I'm not dropping those elbows here. You've got less than 10 seconds. So again, pulling back. Good, you've got three. We're gonna hinge over into a bent over row in two and one. Good, so same thing. Those feet are underneath the hips. I want you to hinge through the back. Arms come out long, sending those hips back. Core engaged so you're not arching. And then from here, your palms face together, elbows row up and towards the ceiling, keeping those palms up by the side of the body. So it's up, down, up, down. So we're working the opposite muscles that we just did. This is our pull movement against our press movement that we just did. So again, each time as you pull up, really think about squeezing through those elbows and think about pinching those shoulder blades together. That is the pull movement that you feel. Good. So again, we're just burning out these muscles today, spending about a minute in each position, alternating between our pull, which is what we're doing right now, and our push. Good. You will see these exercises one more time before we go on. This first round is our standing set, and then we'll be on the mat for the remainder of class. Good. You've got three, you got let go in two, and one. Good, stand up. You know we're switching right back to our press motions. I'm gonna take those elbows, make an 11, 90 degree bend at the elbows, palms together right in front of my face. I'm gonna open all the way up. Elbows don't drop. And I'm thinking about squeezing together, bringing those elbows, those palms open. Together and open. Squeeze. And of course, if you can't bring those palms and those elbows together, I just want you to think about really squeezing through the chest in these muscles here as you bring it all the way together. So again, from the side, no arch in the back as I open and I close. Make sure you're dipping those knees, squeezing through the core. Open and close. Good. You've got one more back exercise. We're gonna redo this entire round, and then we're moving on. Dropping down to the mat after this standing series. Good, you've got five, you've got four, three, two, and one, good. So just like we did in our bent over row, I want you to find that same position, send your hips back, slight bend in the knees, arms out long, now what we're working on is we're opening up to the side, holding those arms out straight, palms to the ground, and then coming back down. So as I lift, there's a slight bend in my elbows, but I'm not making that rounded. I'm keeping my arms straight, but with a slight bend, coming back. So I'm really thinking about pulling and pinching those shoulder blades at the top, up and down. So again, when you're on that side, when you're pulling up, you're not pulling with your chest, you're holding those hips back, feeling those hamstrings, feeling that core engage, and you're lifting directly to the side and coming back down. So again, just really focus on that breath here. So as you lift up, it's a big exhale and a big inhale as you lower. Let that breath push those arms up, up. Good, pinch the shoulder blades at the top, Gaze in front of you so that you're not arching the neck or hinging through the back. Good, you've got three, two, we're gonna stand up in one. Good, go ahead and shake those shoulders out so you know what's coming 
We're going into that single arm chest press one more time. So give yourself one last shoulder roll, arms come out, and we're coming back, forward, back. So again, this is a superset, which means we're keeping very, very minimal rest in between each exercise as we transition through that push and pull. So as you get more and more tired, I want you to really watch here that as you pull back, you're not twisting. Pulling that core tight, knees dip. So as I pull back, the whole movement is in my chest, not in that torso. Good, back, forward, good, you got it. Squeeze, so this is your last Standing chest press today. Good. You've got less than 15 seconds and then we're moving on back into those bent over rows. We're gonna switch it up this time. And of course, if you are getting tired, you can always drop those weights. You can go to a lesser weight. Good, it's two, plus one. And quick transition yet again. This time I want your palms up, hinge at the hips, bend the knee, row and release. Again, squeezing through those shoulder blades, keeping that transition quick, keeping the rest in between these exercises as minimal as possible. Gaze is just a few inches in front of my feet, looking at the end of my mat. Good, squeezing up. Of course, you can always transition back into that row with your palms facing together. It's up to you. Or if you want to add a bit of a challenge, you can alternate, twisting through that shoulder. Good. Up. Good. You've got 15 seconds. Then we're going right back to that squeeze. Good. Keep sending those hips back. Up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Quick transition. Palms together, elbows together. Open and close. Good, squeeze and open. Big exhale, big inhale. Good, holding that core again, nice and tight. Not letting that back arch as you open, just pulling those elbows open and close. So again, if you need a modification or you find that you're twisting, you can go into that single arm. Good, open, close, good all the way. You've got 15 seconds. You've got one last back exercise. I really want you to focus on that squeeze as you bring those elbows together, together, and open. Good. Squeeze. Deep breaths as you're here. You've got five. Good. You've got four, three, two, and one last quick transition. You get a small break after this. Let's go right back into that delt fly. Opening, keeping those arms nice and straight, making sure that you're not arching. Good. If you want a challenge, you can change those pinkies to the sky. Keep that T position. Palms are gonna face behind you as you lift and as you lower. Good, squeeze the core, engage through the back. Really feeling those muscles are working now. Lighting up, squeeze. You've got 15 seconds of walking down to the mat after this. Good, big exhale, big inhale. Finishing out, you've got five. Drop into the mat in three, two, and one. Good, again, quick roll through those shoulders. Set your weights quick and close by. You don't need them for this first set. So we're gonna find that plank position. We did push-ups as our warm-up today, so we're gonna add in push-ups here. You have a few different options. Of course, your normal push-up, you're coming down, bringing the chest to meet the mat, pressing all the way back up. So it's a big inhale and a big exhale. Think about pressing away from the mat. That breath pushes you up. Optionally, you can always drop down to your knees, coming down and then pressing back up. So if you're here on your knees, you're not back in this position. I want you to keep the weight directly over the hands. So as you come down, you're pressing from the chest to the mat, not pressing back here from those knees. 
So wherever you are, I want you to find that position and really focus on pressing from the mat, engaging the core, engaging the chest, everything as we drop and come back up. So because this is a superset, I would rather you drop to your knees if you need that so that you can keep up that level of reps today. Wherever, again, you feel comfortable, remember that you have one more set after this. So this is our exercise without the weights. We're gonna add it back in, in five. Good, it's four, three, two, and one. So I want you to go ahead and grab your dumbbells, find that plank position. So that was our push, which means we have a pull. So I'm staying in that plank position, rowing up, coming back down, alternating right and left, keeping the core and the hips as stable as possible, keeping my gaze directly down. Of course, your option again is always to drop to those knees, it's right and left, right left. If you feel like the knees are too easy but the plank is too hard, you can always take that one opposite leg. So if my right arm rows if my left leg is in the air. There you go. Finding that balance. Finding that row. Of course, if you've got one leg in the air, you're staying on the same side on that row. So it's right, left, wherever you're at. Good. Again, 15 seconds. This is your pull. And then we're gonna go right back in to a push. Good. You've got 10 seconds here. So again, dropping to your knees, plank position, whatever you need. There is a no more plank in three. Good, it's two. And last one. Good. Take those weights you're rolling onto your back. We're switching over into a chest press from the ground today. So arms extend long overhead, feet into the mat, knees to the sky. We're coming all the way down and then pressing all the way back up. Down, up, elbows at 45 degrees, back, core engaged, pressed into the mat. Really thinking about pressing with that exhale. Inhale, exhale, good. If you need to modify, you can always take those knees because that gives you the engagement that you need through that lower back, down and up. Good. <sighs> Taking that big inhale as you lower, big exhale as you press to the sky, squeezing through those shoulders, really thinking about pressing, which means we have a pull right after this in 10 seconds. So it's down and up, good. Keep breathing, it's exhale, inhale, Exhale, you've got three, you've got two, and one. Good. Take those weights in your hands, palms face together, feet into the ground, knees towards the sky. We're gonna slowly, with that lower back, press into the mat. We're gonna extend those arms overhead, not bending those elbows to find our lowest point, and then you're pulling straight back up. So again, Big exhale, then a big inhale. Good, pulling all the way down. This is your pull, but you're watching that you're not bending. This isn't a tricep exercise. This is all through those shoulders and through that core into that pull movement today. Good, you've got 10 seconds and then we're gonna switch back over into that last set of plank exercises today. So of course, if you didn't get into that plank before, I want you to get into that plank this time. Two and one. Good, let's go ahead and roll over onto that side of our mat today. You can set those weights to the side, finding that plank position one more time into push-ups. So of course, if you didn't try it from that plank position, I want you to try it this time. Good, you're not here for very long and I promise this is the last full push-up that you will do today. Can't promise that it's the last push-up, but I want you to press. Good, you're again not here for very long. We're gonna go right into that pull after this press, holding that core nice and tight, finding that breath. Exhale, presses away. Inhale, pulls your body again back to the mat, finding that 
position, whether you're in a plank or you're in that knee position. You've got five, you've got four, three, two, and one. Grab those weights, quick transition, because you know what's here. Squeeze that core, it's right, left, right, and left. Or if you're in that plank position, it looks the same. Taking your feet wider if you need to for stability. Good, pull, pull, pull. Good, you wanna challenge this time, you can take a rotation as you pull into that row. Squeeze into that rotation, come all the way back down. That's your extra added challenge for our last plank row of the day today. Good, whatever you're doing, wherever you're at, you've got 10 seconds left. So you're rowing from your knees, from that plank position. It's three, we're rolling over in two, one, and find that chest press on your back. Again, feet into the mat, lower back into the mat, right into it, not giving yourself that break. Good, it's up and down. Big inhale, big exhale. This is where it's great to have that heavier weight, really pressing that extra weight up to the ceiling, getting stronger in those chest muscles. Good. Squeeze, exhale. Good, you've got it. Pressing all the way up. Big exhale. Finding that press today. You've got one last pull after this. And then we've got one more set. And then you are out of here today. Good, you've got it. Five. You're gonna go overhead into that extension in three, in two, and one. Palms rotate together. Again, pressing that low back into the mat. You're extending those arms overhead. Only a slight bend in those elbows. Finding your lowest point. And then lifting the weight back to the top. Good, squeeze. Finding that center line. So coming just over your chest each time. That's your starting position. Chop and back to center. Finding that good pull. Getting to take a micro break after this before we start our third and final round today. Good, squeeze. And up one more time. You've got 10 seconds. Good. Pulling all the way down, rolling over onto our stomach after this. Good. It's three, it's two, and one. Good. You have two options here. So if you want to go ahead and place your weights next to you, you can. I'll show you the two options that we have today. So again, extending long. Squeezing through that core today. We're gonna pull all the way up in those supermans just like our warm up, and then slowly lower down. And then again, pulling all the way up. Really focus on pulling that back up, squeezing, and then coming back down. So here is your challenge if you want that challenge today. Extending those arms long. So as I pull up, I can take my right arm with the weight and my left leg and then lower back down, pulling that left arm and right leg, giving yourself that weighted challenge. If you have a set of light weights and you want to, you can pick both up at the same time and then slowly lower down. So it's up and down, up, good, up. And then really thinking about it again, Exhaling, trying to get as tall through your chest and as high through those legs as possible. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you pull all the way up. You've got 10 seconds. Good, it's five. It's four. Three, two, and one. So I promise you, you wouldn't have any more plank push-ups, but I didn't promise you that you wouldn't have any push-ups. So we're gonna do these from our knees today. Coming all the way down, those elbows come back at 45 degrees. We're gonna come all the way down, press up, right tap, left tap, come all the way back down. So as I press, it's a tap, tap, and down. Tap, tap, down. 
Of course, you always have the option. This is your challenge if you want to come all the way into that plank. Press up, tap, tap, and back down. Again, pressing up, tap, tap. So when I'm in that tap, whether I'm on my knees or I'm in that plank, trying to hold that core and that hip as steady and as stable as possible. If you don't have it in your chest at this exact moment, you can always take those taps here, tapping that opposite hand to the opposite shoulder. Again, focus on keeping the weight in the hands, in the chest, not letting yourself sink back here. Good, holding it up again, tap, tap, coming down, pressing back up. Good, you're not here for very long. Squeeze as you press, tap, tap and then coming down. Good, you've got less than five seconds. It's three, two, and one. Good, rolling back over onto our back. We're switching from our back to our stomach today for this last round. Grab those weights, press that lower back into the mat. Arms directly over the chest. You're gonna open up, this time we are in that chest slide. Elbows like I'm holding a big beach ball. Coming open, close. Open and close. Again, focus on the chest here. Squeeze, squeeze. Good. Pulling up and back down. Holding those legs up is your modification. If you need that extra core engagement, squeeze, squeeze. Good. Holding it up. Big exhale, big inhale. Good. Squeeze. We've got one last back exercise after this. One more set, and then we are out of here tonight. Good, you've got 10 seconds, and then we're rolling back over to our stomach. Good, it's three, it's two, and one. Good, bring it down, come over onto your stomach again one last time for this set. We're gonna go into swimmers, so just like a superman, but a little bit quicker. Pulling that chest up, and again, it's right arm, left leg, but we're moving quickly. Again, trying to rotate through, keeping that lower back engaged. If you can stay up at the top, you can go really quickly, balancing on those hip bones, face into the mat, squeezing through all the way. Over here is your modification. You always have the option of grabbing those weights again and pulling up with that opposite leg and opposite arm if you want the added challenge. So that's right and left. Good, or hold it up. We've got 15 seconds. If you want to come with me and find the very top, point the toes, pull the fingers long. Make sure you're not holding your breath here. You've got six, it's five, four, three, two, and one. Good work, guys. Take a quick second here before we go right back into those super bands. One big deep breath if you didn't use the weights last time. Let's go ahead and use the weights this time. That right arm, that left leg is your option, or otherwise you're pulling all the way up to the top and back down. We're going through this last round a little bit faster, making sure to keep the rest in between those exercises as minimal as possible. Up and down. Up, good. Big exhale, big inhale as you pull up. Up, good. We're going into that press. After this, you've got 15 seconds. So each time you pull up, I want you to fight for that height in the legs, in the chest as you pull all the way up and then lower all the way back down. Good, it's three, it's two, and one. Good, press up into that push-up position. Again, one last time through, either here into that push-up, finding that shoulder tap, and then coming back down, or from the knees, squeezing that core, coming all the way back down. Good, finding that rhythm, whatever feels good to you, Good. Keep pressing. If you need to stay here again, you absolutely can. Watch that you're not letting that back arch wherever you can stay. Even if you want to stay for the next 15 seconds in that plank, 
You can do that. Finding that shoulder tap wherever feels good. We're gonna go right back into those chest lines. After this, good, it's five, it's four, three, two, and one. Drop those knees, roll over onto your back. Giving me one last good round of chest flies. Opening and closing. Good, lift it up and down. Squeezing it through that chest fly. Good, you've got it. You're just pushing through these last two exercises and then we are done for today. Good, pulling down and up. Keeping those weights directly above the chest. Good, squeeze and down. You've got five, got four. We're gonna burn it out into those swimmers in three, two, and one. Good, drop those weights. You don't need them for the rest of the class. We're finishing out with those swimmers. So again, pulling that chest up. Quick movements here. Finishing out the last 30 seconds of class with this little cardio burst. Keep those legs as long as possible. Chest up, legs up. Quickly moving arms and legs together. Make sure you're breathing here. Good, you've got it. You've got 10 seconds. Finish it out nice and strong. Good, it's five. Going back to child's pose in four, three, two and one. Good work guys. Press all the way back. So let's come all the way onto our mat today. Press those weights out of the way. Fingertips underneath those shoulders. One long leg. Rise up into Cobra. Big exhale. Looking over that shoulder. Stretch out those abs. Stretch out that lower back. Take one more deep breath and then go ahead and look over to the left side. That big inhale and that big exhale. And then coming all the way back down, let's press into child's pose one more time. Before we come back to center, I want you to take that left arm underneath and we're gonna lean down into it for a deep spinal twist. Taking that deep breath here. Feeling everything relax. Of course, you can always sit back onto your heels if you'd prefer. And then pressing back up into that hands and knees position. Twist through the shoulders to bring that left hand towards the ceiling. Taking one deep breath here, coming back down, taking that right arm and reaching it through. Option, of course, to sit back on those heels. Find that same position again and reach all the way up. Big twist, right arm comes towards the sky. Right hand comes back to the mat in your last child's pose of class today. Send those hips back. Great work today, guys. That superset workout is one of my absolute favorites for really getting into the muscles of the chest and back, and of course, getting stronger in the process. I wanna hear how the workout went for you, so let me know in the comments below. Did you take the modifications? Did you like the added challenges? Let me know so I can continue to make the best possible workout for you. And of course, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a single video we upload each week. Have a great day.